Hi, I'm Namrata Purohit, your fitness expert on Glamorous.com. It feels really great to be back with a new video to get that flat tummy. The last time that we did this video, we had a few concerns about the neck hurting when they crunch up due to recruitment of the wrong muscles. But this time, I'm going to show you a few exercises without crunching up that will still get you that flat tummy. Before we start, what I want you to remember, as I stated in the first video as well, is maintain the neutral pelvis. So I don't want you to jam your back into the mat, nor do I want you to overextend your spine. So somewhere in the middle of this, if you rock your pelvis, you'll find your neutral position. It's as if there's a teacup on top of your pelvis. You don't want the tea to spill on you. You don't want the tea to spill away from you. Another thing to keep in mind is your neck. You don't want to overextend the neck. Don't jam your chin either. Keep it nice and neutral. Look up towards the ceiling. So now let's start with the toe taps, the first exercise. Place your hands down by the side. Take one leg up into the tabletop position and then take the other leg up into the tabletop position. Maintain this, keep your core nice and tight and engaged. All I want you to do is exhale, tap your toe to the floor, inhale back up. Exhale down, inhale up. You can do about 10 repetitions to start with if core exercise is new to you. Otherwise, you can go up to 30 repetitions. It's a great one to warm up and stabilize the body and the core. Now that you're relatively warm, let's add in a bit of a challenge. We're going to do this single leg circle. The fun part about this exercise is that not only will you be working the core muscles, but you'll also be working the hip flexors. So it does definitely add a challenge. What I want you to do again is take your legs up to the tabletop position, keep your core engaged. Inhale, straighten your leg up towards the ceiling and exhale, circle. Inhale, center. You can do the same thing the other way. So reverse, center, reverse and center. Come back to tabletop and then you can swap legs. What I like to do is 10 repetitions one way and then the other and then swap legs. Now, if this is really difficult for you, it is fine. You can keep one foot straight out on the floor and one leg up and then circle. Or you could keep the leg bent to avoid the pressure in your spine. And if this is even still hard for you, keep the knee bent and then circle. But the goal is to get the knee straight. The third exercise that we're going to do is the oblique can-cans. What I want you to do is place your hands out to the side, shoulder level, or a little below shoulder level. Take one foot up to tabletop, my favorite position, and the other foot up to tabletop. Maintain this, and then drop your knees out to one side, and back to center. This is the basic one. Drop your knees out to the other side, and center. Make sure you keep this angle the same. You don't want to do this. Yeah, so maintain the tabletop, just drop the knees out, come back to center and drop the knees out and back to center. Don't take your shoulders off, so you don't want to lift off. Keep it down on the mat, keep it down. So that adds that little pressure on the oblique muscles and really makes you work it hard. The next exercise that we're going to do is the half roll back. As the name suggests, we're going to be rolling back halfway. So just keep your hands straight in front of you, back straight. Inhale to stay here to prepare. Connect your core. Exhale, roll back. Inhale, come up. Exhale, back. Look straight ahead and up. What you're doing is basically creating a C curve and coming back up. You're rolling basically on your tailbones. I'm stacked on top of my tailbones. I'm rolling back, straight up, rolling back. Don't drop your knees out, keep it straight. I love these ones, they're really good to activate the core. They work the abdominal muscles, yes, the rectus, the transverse abdominus, which is a lot deeper, and the multifidus to help avoid any tilting. You can do about 10 to 15 repetitions to start with, and then build up to 20 repetitions. A must-do right after the half roll back is the oblique roll back. Stay in the same position as your half roll back. Sit tall, hands straight in front of you. 
Think about reaching the opposite end of your room. As you roll back, reach, reach, reach and come back up. Reach to the other side as far as possible and up. So you're working the internal and external oblique. Reach and up, straight, reach and up. Again, 10 to 20 repetitions of this will really get those oblique muscles firing and working. We go into the ab choppers. These really shape and define those abs. They do chop off that excess fat. What I want you to do is sit straight, hands together like a namaste or prayer position. Inhale, exhale, roll back. Stay there for a breath, inhale. Out to the side, chop, up, center. Other side, chop, up, center. Don't just take your shoulders because that's not going to do anything. I want you to rotate to the side, chop those abdominal muscles, come back up and center. Other side, do about 20 repetitions, up and center. The we sit, or as we call it, the teaser series, because it really does tease those core muscles. Just take one leg up into the tabletop position and take the other leg. You can hold your legs for now until you get your balance and figure out how to stay in this position. Once you're ready, take one hand off, take the other hand off. Simple, yeah. <laughs> Stay in this position, maintain it. This is like those challenges, let's see how long you can maintain it sort of challenges. So stay in here for as long as possible. Once you're done and can't hold it anymore, push those five seconds. And then take one leg down, the other, and come back up. Now that was too easy, wasn't it? So let's add some punches. Same position, one leg up, other leg up. Hand out, hand out. I want you to punch towards one side, rotate center, punch, center, punch, center. Just working those obliques. As I twist, I'm working the opposite obliques. And center, one leg down and the other leg down. What you can do once you get really good at these is add some weights around your wrist or hold some weight and then punch. That is going to be tough. What you have to keep in mind is to stay neutral because if you go into a flat back or you overextend your spine, you're going to end up hurting the lower back, which we don't want. So maintain that neutral posture and keep your core engaged throughout. Keep in mind that nothing works without a good diet and a good amount of cardio. But if you do put these things together, I'm sure you will get that flat belly. So until next time, stay tuned and stay glamorous.